Hi nerds, welcome back. Today I'll be taking you through how I achieve a clean Shih Tzu face using blades 7 and 10. And don't worry, I'll be taking you in a little bit closer once I've done this first bit. So what I do, I just take the 7 which I have used on the dog's body and legs and I clip the top of the head and cheeks. <laughs> I'm using these little trimmers on his entire face. I have these linked down below in the description. They are about £20 from Amazon and they are absolutely fantastic. I am using the 2.0 millimeter blade on here so I believe it is close to a 9 blade but millimeter wise is only about a millimeter difference from the 7 so it's not going to be a madly noticeable difference. Once I have clipped the muzzle, I gently pull the brow back with my finger just to expose the under eye and gently scoop the hair from under the eye. You always want to clip away from the eye for safety. And I personally like to clip in reverse all the way around the lips as it does give a cleaner finish. And if you do feel like your body blade hasn't quite picked up enough hair on the sides, you can again use the clippers just to tidy it up. And once I've finished clipping, I just take the entire eye area down with my blenders. These are the Groom Professional Astrid Single Thinners. If your dog lets you clip all the way around the eyes, then go for it. I just know that this dog is not going to stay still long enough, so I find it far safer to scissor around the area. As you can see I do take the thinners all the way around the muzzle just to pick up any wispy bits that I may have missed with the clippers. And once I am happy with the overall look of the face I then clip off my little handle. It's always really really handy to leave this till last so you have something to hold on to just in case your dog does try to pull away. And again I do this all in reverse just for a slightly cleaner finish. And for these little lip fold bits, I did actually drop down to a 10 blade just because they are slightly awkward to get out. And when you do this, just make sure that you are pulling the skin straight just to avoid any nicks to the skin. And lastly, for the ears, I have used a 10 blade or on the trimmers, it is 1.4 millimeters. And what you always want to make sure is that you keep the ear completely flat and support the ear leather with your hand. And as you can see, once you have clipped the ears, the edges don't look quite as nice as they should. So I'll just take any scissors, I'm using my Astrid Curves, and gently pull all the hair forwards and pinch the ear leather with your fingers so you know where the ear leather starts. This just prevents you from cutting the ear and you get a fantastic smooth finish on the leathers. And then all you need to do is just rinse and repeat on the other ear and then that is the look finished. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, do leave it a little thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And maybe consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss my next upload. Bye guys.